tonight on Nightline. Is now the time to panic? Oil hits new highs, the stock market plunges again, and two mortgage giants hit serious trouble. So what should you do? Susie Orman joins us to tell you the seven things you need to know if you want to survive the slowdown. And Ghostbusters, we spend a night in the spiritual capital of America. But does our intrepid reporter really witness those bumps in the night? From the global resources of ABC News, with Terry Moran, Martin Bashir, and Cynthia McFadden, this is Nightline, July 11, 2008. Good evening. Tourists have long been drawn to Florida for its balmy weather and sandy beaches, but tonight Jeffrey Kaufman takes us to a Florida town that attracts visitors for a whole other set of reasons. People go to this little town not for the living, but for the dead. As Jeffrey Kaufman reports, welcome to a town that specializes in the things that go bump in the night. On first impression, the little town of Casadega, Florida, with its telltale tin roofs and quaint front porches, looks like a journey back in time. But look closely at the signs around town, and it is clear that people come here for a different kind of journey. Mystics, mediums, and spirits from beyond. People come to the Casadega Hotel, the only hotel in town, for a walk back in time and maybe a glimpse into the afterlife. Manager Diana Morn is expecting me. The hotel itself was built in 1927, and people from all over the world come here for readings and also to experience the paranormal activities that take place here in the hotel. Just what do you mean by paranormal? Well, would you like Let's to see a photograph? It. Yeah. This is room 10. Can you see all these little orbs? Mm -hmm. That's spirit energy. There's clearly something on that photograph. Whether it's spirits or water spots depends on what you're willing to believe. As I head to my room, I begin to wonder just what I got myself into. All right. Well, at least I got a suite. Well, I think I'm alone. Curiosity and the possibility of an encounter with the paranormal have made Casadega a stop on Florida's tourist trail. The really curious tourists sign up for a reading. Welcome. Come Hello. Come Maxine Markoff came from Boynton Beach with her husband and friends. For me, it's just, it's tapping into spirits, tapping into all the beautiful people that you bring with you. For $75 for a 45-minute session, Maxine is now hoping to meet friends and family who have moved on. There's also a gentleman here that was very much a love of yours. Could this be her first husband? In here, there's a strong feeling in here. An hour later, Maxine and her friend Sheila Golden sit down to talk about their first readings. I was disappointed in mine. What, what disappointed you? Well, I felt that anything that this lady told me was general and really didn't apply to me, and she was just fishing. Maxine, you were with Joan? Yes, I was. How did your session go? Very, very well. And she hit upon a lot of things that were quite true. So to you, this is not all no, hocus pocus? not at all. As day turns to night, Casadega feels like a ghost town. Of course, around here, some people believe it really is. The center of activity in the evening is just down the street, the Colby Memorial Temple. A room in the back is reserved for seances. This is the seance this table? This is the seance table. Victor Voganitz first came to Casadega with his parents 40 years ago. Oh, I'm checking to see the levitation devices? No, I don't see any. Okay. No, we got it. Okay. Victor will lead the seance. Is the table going to move? There's not a guarantee, but in yes. most cases, yes. I always put a trumpet on the table first to start. The lights go out and our night scope camera goes on. Well, good evening, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank, thank, you, Spirit. thank you for coming. And yes, thank you. Oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Yes. yes. Rock and roll. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. Okay, this is strange, but what happens next is even stranger. I've been working on the rail. 
kind of song I expected to hear at my first seance. Dino wants to blow your horn. There are no cables or wheels on that heavy table. I checked, but I couldn't help noticing that every time I gave it a gentle nudge, the others nudged too, and it lurched across the room. Happy trails to you. As we return to the hotel, we bump into an eager band of self-styled investigators prowling the corridors with some odd-looking machinery. Just listen to Wanda Gates. She says she's been researching the town for six weeks. What, what are you doing up? The, the hotel should be, everybody should be asleep, shouldn't they? Maybe, but not when you're with the Orlando Paranormal Society. Yes. We're out measuring the energy change that's going to start at midnight. Just between us, can you tell me what rooms the spirits are in? Because I want to know if my Do not stay in 25 and 26. Oh, great. That is not the room you're in. Are you serious? <laughs> that's my room. <laughs> I'm not thrown by all this talk of ghosts. This is the lady that walks the halls at night. Just so you'll know what she looks like. Well, maybe a little. While Wanda and her gang continue their research, I head to my room. It is now just after 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, 112 to be precise and apart from the rattle of the air conditioner it is completely quiet here at the Casadega Inn I plan to get a very good night's sleep but I confess after what I've seen and heard here over the last few hours I'm not quite sure what to expect between now and the sunrise it is a long night I sleep fitfully but I blame the rock-hard pillow and there is room 25. Thank, Thank you so much. You. How did you enjoy your stay? It's been interesting. It's been fun. Thank you. Well, I invite you to come again. And Thank you very stay. much. I appreciate it. Bye. No question. This place really does have its own kind of spirit. I'm Jeffrey Kaufman for Nightline in Casadega, Florida. I don't know. Give me the beaches. A unique place. When we come back, a new way to get in touch with your inner child. It's a grown-up version.